Hey guys, Ivy B here. I'm going to show you today how I use the Blue Iris Android app to pull up the cameras in my house that are made by both TrendNet and Amcrest. Uh, this does require having the Blue Iris server software on your computer. Uh, there's plenty of videos around that one, so I'm not going to walk through that, just the Android app today. Let's take a look. All right, here's the Android screen where I have all of the uh, apps that uh, I do for home automation. Um, I am on Wi-Fi, however, I am not at my house. So uh, what you will see here is WAN speed. So you pull up the camera. Uh, you'll see I have the TrendNet and the Amcrest apps here, but we're talking about Blue Iris. So let me press that, press the button. Uh, it starts up the app and it actually auto connects to the server. You'll see the stairs is Amcrest, fireplace and speakers are TrendNet cameras. So uh, I can pick uh, one of those things and I will admit my presets are a little screwed up. So let me try zooming it up and yeah, I knew it was gonna go nuts. So um, I'll, I'll get it fixed. But you see here, the pan tilt zoom is responsive assuming you set your presets correctly and don't screw that up. Um, and I can go to another one. Let's see if, uh, I think I screwed this one up too, the presets. Uh, yep, screwed up those presets as well. So set those things up and you'll be just fine. The other thing to show you is you can actually take a look at historical footage right from the app as well. So if I was to pick, uh, I don't know, let's take a look at what happened outside. See the slide bar at the bottom, uh, on the bottom right, that is time as of right now. If I was, to, and I'm gonna grab that pointer and pull it back a little bit here. I have it set up only to record on uh, motion. So you see here that's uh, what 7.42 p.m. We can even go a little bit sooner, 6.53, right? And we can go ahead and skip ahead. And so, yeah, and, oh, I'm sorry. And here you can see you can change the various speeds as well. Um, so right now this is running at 4x. So that's it. It's uh, actually that's all I need to ever use here. You can add more cameras, do whatever else you want, but I only ever look at it for live views and very occasionally the historical uh, footage. I uh, hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.